Today, I am going to do something that I have never done before. But as the flow girl, which I am, I follow the flow. I move with it. I listen to it. And earlier today, a little song came to me that came to me actually many years ago. And the song itself uh, says the whole thing thing what what happened it was in a meditation and I'm not a singer my voice is probably going to crackle here and there but you know when it comes to me I follow so we'll see what happens so let me sing this little song to you first One day God came to me in silence, seeing I still was holding on to the one thing I was trying to surrender. And it wasn't till I really heard this song. Just drop it and leave it with me. 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 Ah, thank you for listening. So how do we do that? How do we drop what we are still holding on to? It always comes down to what we deeply, deeply want in our heart, in our soul, the deepest yearning, the deepest longing. And if the deepest longing is not to drop it and leave it, with the divine, you can be sure that you're going to hold on to it. I'll share a little story also from many years ago when I was creating one of my first online programs. And part of me really wanted the download to come. And, you know, so I was going inside and I was listening and nothing really happened. But something actually did happen. And that was that I realized that I wanted to do it. I wanted to have the credit for creating a program or for bringing something forth. There was this sense of Pranilla, this separate sense of self that still had an investment in being acknowledged, being seen, maybe even being celebrated. There was something in me that like, no, I, I want to do this. I want to do this. And I was very well aware that as long as I had that wanting to do it myself, there was no way I was going to let that go and let God there's, it's impossible because I am still in charge of the pernilla. Do I want to keep her alive? Do I want to keep feeding her? Do I want to have her expand and grow and be somebody, maybe somebody different than somebody who's not doing well? I wanted to be the one who was doing well. So you can see it's still all in the the world of duality, which is all happening in the mind, um, of being a separate sense of self. And we all do that. There is a reason that we are here experiencing ourselves as separate. And I don't want to go into how I see that or experience that now. I just want to really focus on this separate sense of self does he or she want to drop it and leave it with the divine? Do you really, really want that? Or do you just want to drop a little bit and then take care of the rest yourself? 
Now, there is there is something to be said about being able to do something yourself. When I'm able to fix something in the house, if it breaks or, you know, if a big branch comes down and I get out there with my uh, chainsaw and I chop it up or I saw it up, I feel really, really good. I feel empowered and it's like, hey, I can do this. And, and I think that's fun. There's nothing wrong with that at all. We, we need to enjoy our lives. We need to enjoy who we believe we are, you know, but not as an identity, not as a separate sense of self, because then we start moving too far away from God and further and further. And the further you move away from that divine connection you could say that thread or the vine you know it's like we are the vine where it comes through if we move too far away we can't feel that connection or we may even have severed it it's like hey see you later i'm going to do this on my own it's part of life but when we move too far away we do forget that connection we do forget that there is something to drop it to drop into, let it go, drop it and leave it with me. It's always there. But the further we move away from it, the harder it is to hear that. We're so busy out there with surviving, being successful, having creating a good life that we have forgotten to be still and listen. It's like, okay, what, what comes from within? And of course, the closer you come, you realize that your fulfillment, all your needs, they're all being met from within in a very different way from when we're out there trying to make it happen ourselves. And we're working hard and sweating and, you know, and, and being exhausted. And then we feel like, hey, man, I can do this. Great. It is nice to know that, isn't it? Instead of being somebody who can't do anything, it's wonderful. But do we still have that connection? And is it possible to come back and surrender and let it go <clears throat> and then let ourselves, our energy, our frequency, our expression, which is invisible, which is not our five senses, it's, it's the soul sense. It's a very different sense. Can we let that move us? We might still do the same things or we might do very different things, but when we deeply listen and if we really, really want to surrender, then that is the place to go Every time when you find yourself too far away, for me, it's like, Pernilla, do you really want that? And I've shared that before, and it's always an instant no, no. And then I come back. Whereas years ago, there was like, do you really want that to do it yourself? It's like, yeah, I do want to do this myself. It's like, darn, you know, I'm not going to surrender today, obviously, when I have such a strong will to do it myself and to be a somebody. And then over time, you know, you get tired and it's not all working out the way you thought. And then you may be ready to drop down and drop it and leave it with me. The me, the I inside of you the one that's always there <clears throat> waiting for us to turn back and connect. It's like connecting back to the vine. Have you seen the movie, um, what's it called? Avatar, where they go and ride their dragons, right? They have their ponytail and they connect that to the dragon. And then they're connected, right? They're one with the dragon. And it's like, wow, they're just one. And they can go anywhere and it's all safe and fun. Can we can create that connection 
to our own inner dragon, our own inner divine. And then let that move us. So just drop it and leave it with me.